My name is Maya Crawley. I work for 1Password and today I'm going to just quickly show you a demo on how to create a plugin uh, to, to contribute towards our developer ecosystem of plugins. So uh, we're going to start at the documentation. So um, shell plugins, we already have a decent catalog of available shell plugins. Um, you can see AWS, Fossa, Sentry, README, Homebrew, etc. Um, we have also made it possible for you to contribute plugins. So here, a little further down in the documentation, uh, you have the option to build your own plugin. So um, here's just a brief list of requirements. Um, and then we're going to get started with the, uh, the repository. So uh, first I've got to fork the repository um, in order to start contributing. So I'm going to just go to my empty demo folder and then I'm going to use the GitHub CLI and uh, authenticate with my fingerprint to fork the repo uh, and clone it. So um, the CLI that I'm going to show developing is going to be Netlify. Uh, so I'm just going to show a quick Netlify command to show you what it looks like without uh, having shell plugins installed and ready to go. So here we're going to hop back over to the build your own shell plugins um, documentation and copy some commands. So we're going to go into the shell plugins uh, directory and start with make new plugin. So we're going to call it's uh, going to be Netlify and then capitalized and then it's just Netlify for the actual executable. Uh, it's a personal access token and I'm just going to paste in, copy in some gibberish for a credential. So here we've gotten started. Um, we're just going to do a quick status so you can see in plugins slash Netlify is where all of the new files have gone. So uh, I'm just going to open up a editor and show you kind of a little bit as to what what you get with the just kind of the bootstrapping. So here's some Netlify. So we've got the executable. So it is just Netlify CLI. Um, the docs URL um, is, uh, let's just go take a look. I think you can just do it with get started. So let's just check. Yep, there's the documentation to point towards. Uh, so we're just going to paste that in here. Uh, remove that to do. Save that. All right, we're on to plugin.go. Uh, the home page is I would is actually app.netlify. Dot com, I believe. Yep, so you can log in. Um, oops, that's not what I meant to do. There we go. Uh, I can save that one. And we're going to move on to personal access token details. So uh, the Netfli Netlify token is not called Netlify token, it's actually Netlify auth token. Actually, I'm just going to also open up the test so I can uh, fix that over there as well. So we already checked that this is correct. Uh, I'm going to ignore this stuff for now. Um, I'm not going to bother trying to import from a local config file for the purposes of this demo. Uh, so then now we're looking for the docs URL for how to get a personal access token. Um, so that is, we can go back to a, get started and then we've got 
authentication, we want to do it through the UI. Uh, so we're going to copy that over here. And I happen to know that in uh, in the UI, you have to go to user applications in order to make the actual token to use. Uh, so that is it for um, for the for the changes that I have to make. This is just a test for importing a config file, which I'm going to leave for now. Um, and that was kind of all the to do's for now. Uh, so let's go back to the documentation. Uh, I kind of zoomed through steps two, three, um, four, and uh, just that was, uh, you can look at the documentation explicitly for what I just did, but it's basically following the to do's. Uh, so now we're going to build and test the plugin locally. So we're going to start with, um, it's just going to move this over, make a Netlify slash validate, see what happens there. And then we're going to do, you can see the next command here is to build it. Excellent. And then we're going to list and you can see that now these are all the ones that are in the registry and my local version of Netlify that I just built. So now we're going to actually test out that it works. Uh, so the command that we're going to start is op plugin init. Um, Netlify. So you can see it just warns you that you're doing local development. It's not officially part of the registry. Uh, so you can import it into one password, but I already have one in there. So I'm just gonna use my um, existing access token. I only have one Netlify account uh, that I explicitly created for this demo. So I'm gonna just use it globally as a default on my system, uh, but you can also be prompted for it at every terminal session or put make it directory specific if that's how you prefer to do things. Uh, so now I'm going to source my plugins file. Um, and let's see what happens when I run that Netlify comment command again. I think it's up there somewhere. There we go. Netlify API list sites. Uh, you can see that it's using the plugin and I've already authenticated in this terminal session um, when I used GitHub in order to fork the repo, but I can show you, we're just going to copy that command. Um, and we're going to run it in a new one. And you can see that I am being asked to authenticate using my fingerprint for the Netlify CLI. So I'm just going to put my finger on that and uh, it should, there's the list of sites again. So um, the next step from here is to create a pull request and um, maybe add that config file. We'll see if I feel like doing that. Uh, so to make the pull request and um, it will go, uh, we'll see the pull request and we'll take a look at it and approve it and then uh, get it put in the official one password registry. Um, so that's how you bootstrap a new plugin.